So hello everyone. I'm just going to wait a few seconds for everybody to join in. It's Article 10. Uh, it's unbelievable that we've reached uh, the 10th session of uh, Article. And uh, really, really happy that we've come this far. And today is a really special episode as uh, we're moving away from just talking about uh, brands, organizations, and initiatives, but moving towards art and artists. And which is why our today's episode is super special because we have a friend, an artist who's been working uh, with sustainable materials for a very long time. I'm sure you know about him. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to take a few more seconds for everybody to join in. Till then, I'm going to make my life also public. Okay. So now that I see some of you have joined, let me just bring little context to this episode. In uh, Article 10, we are talking about art uh, and art being sustainable. So there are a lot of art forms, a lot of artists that work with different materials. Uh, some of them are also chemically, uh, you know, chemical based and some of them are uh, environmentally harmful as well. But this particular art form is something that uses the most natural form of material uh, that is available in nature itself. So let me give you a little background about sand art. Now, sand art is basically the formation of creations, pictures and imagery and is an admired activity which is uh, speeded in history with many different cultural components. Sand art may be divided into three main categories. There are sand art paintings, which culturally sand art paintings are most popularly known uh, as being part of the Navajo tribe, the largest tribe of the North American Indians. There is bottled sand art. It entails obtaining sand and mixing it with powder paint or food coloring to create different hues. This may be poured into a variety of bottles, jars, wine, and plastic bottles in order to form designs and colorful layers used for decorative purposes. There is sculpture sand art. Sand sculptures are created using sand and water and can take on virtually any form that the creator desires. Now, of course, when we talk about environmental art, also known as ecological art, it encompasses several different forms and practices that engage with and represent the environment. It is distinct in its less specific time period and greater scope of art. Now, let me give you a quote that I came across uh, by Betty Beaumont. It says, art asks questions, provokes imaginations, and presents new paradigm for the thought and meaning. The flow from the specific concrete technical to the abstract, meditative, and lyrical categorizes her work. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we have with us uh, somebody who's used his art form in so many different ways in uh, so many different for so many different causes as well. He's an internationally acclaimed uh, sand artist. He's also been a TEDx speaker. He's been on many, many uh, TV reality shows, performed with many big celebrities, for, performed for corporates, uh, traveled internationally for shows uh, to you know, basically showcase his uh, art, which is sand art. And I've been uh, really fortunate to have worked with him closely in some of these events. And we've collaborated on different uh, levels, whether I have given voice to his uh, sand art or whether I have introduced him to the uh, event where he's performed. He's a dear friend and uh, a very, very good sand artist. And what he does is the first form of sand art, which is sand art painting, which he creates and uh, does magical things with it. And you must have seen some of his work uh, online for sure, because some of his uh, videos have reached uh, views in millions. So uh, I don't have to say much anymore. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope all of you are ready to welcome our guest for Article 10. Really happy to have Rahul Arya. Hi, Rahul. Hi, Kathy. How are you doing? Yeah, it's so nice to be on this show finally. <laughs> Yes, finally. How is everything it's, going on? It's uh, great. It's been going very, very well. And uh, we're very happy to bring an art form to article. Uh, this name suggests that it has to have art. And we've not spoken about art till now. But today, having you here, uh, we're really excited to have this conversation about art. And uh, while I give a little history about it, Rahul, when did you begin this journey into sand art? 
Okay, first of all, let me start with uh, thanking you for having me at the article show, and especially as you mentioned about the name of the show. So I like the logo article, and it talks. Uh, it has a uh, embedded uh, design look design, which tells that yeah, it's me. बहुत सारे hidden meaning है. So I really like such advanced such designs, and I especially like the K with the wings. So that's very good, and I've been following your show. Thank you so much for having me over there. uh now coming back to your question uh the starting journey is a uh, quite a boring story but i'll tell you a small incident when uh, i was child i used to scribble around on the walls of my alto car we had a small alto car like uh, like a general okay. middle class indian family and there were used to be a lot of dust on delhi so we i used to just scribble a lot of uh, girl faces jesus christ and uh, michael jackson and all on the sand and uh, i never knew that i uh, i could actually pursue that as a profession now jumping on to today scenario that i've done uh, a a few few hundred shows based on that small inspiration of a child a very curious child so i i think i still am a child from inside so that that's about it that's the whole journey wow that's wonderful and in fact hum ye kehte rehte hain ke you should never forget the child that is uh, inside you which is the artist generally uh, or uh, what a great story to even come up with this but uh, i mean scribbling drawing painting different forms right artist ke alag alag formats hai ye but sand art kab matlab kab socha ye ki mujhe is uh, art form mein aage badhna hai ya mujhe is art form mein zyada interest hai when did that happen uh okay so it was not like a one night ki kuch uthe yaar subah ko uth ke aaj hame sand art karna hai aisa profession hai Haan. it was a very long and tedious journey aur agar main pura detail mein jaunga to hamari audience jo hai to they, i don't know whether they might be interested in knowing that but to uh, to be very precise it uh, mm. all started with the passion of appreciation i don't know whether many people who are into the audience uh, realizes this but their claps their applause boost our energy when we are on stage uh, yeah. so wo jo ek ek jo uh, wo kick hota hai na wo kick milta hai jab when i did the first ever show entertainment ke kuch bhi karega ya other tv shows india's rock star and other shows to when yeah. you get that appreciation from big celebrities a lot of international artists who we have been admiring and they said that uh, they uh, they are my fan and it, it's like a big big thing for me so ye jo chote chote elements hote hai na in sab ne bahut inspire kiya to move forward and uh, achieve all the goals and all so i think ye chote chote bahut sare moments there is no single uh, specific thing i can tell but yes these all small moments contributed to where uh, everything has passed on and i think uh, even after this uh, corona thing and all people will keep loving and appreciating art and not only for my art but generally art in the scenario i think people are getting more aware definitely about uh, you know um, the art that can change the world the you know concepts behind the art can really make a big difference that uh, people are coming to realize and uh, um, so i just want to let everybody know ki rahul sand artist to hai but he has also done lot of different kind of art forms lekin aaj hum specifically sand art ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain because it is uh, a sustainable art which uh, not lot of people must have thought about or thought about i'm not very sure but if you have any questions about it please go ahead and post it in your comments uh, hum rahul se zarur puchhenge iske bare mein so rahul did you think about it when you started doing sand art kya tumne ye socha tha ki you know this is environment friendly or this is an ecological art ye dimag mein kabhi aaya tha ya it just happened uh, through the journey of yours uh, no it was very specific actually i could easily answer to your question uh, you mm-hmm. remember in childhood days uh, I, i don't know whether it happens today or not but hum log four fifth standard mein with art and craft classes hmm. all those art and craft classes what i tried to do is i tried always to utilize all the used materials so we had a session in which we tried to use the used egg trays to create a whole chandelier so similarly wow. these small small moments we hmm. tried to utilize all the uh all the glasses the bottles the used plastic bottles so this all has been happening since childhood and right. uh, then when i used to scribble on the wall hmm. and uh, can you hear me yeah i can hear you sure 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 yeah sorry yeah no so problem. as as it, as i was saying uh, what ha- used to happen is we used to use all those used materials and create some art form out of it and yeah. eventually like i said the used to scribble on the wall and so it was always like kisi hum kisi used cheez ko kaise hum log kuch acha bana sakte hain 
by right. saying that i i i don't uh, i don't feel ashamed to ad- uh, admit that i didn't know the exact meaning of sustainable art form i had to google it before doing this interview so <laughs> the, so the, i didn't know that it, oh oh what i do is it's called sustainable oh, okay it's it's not harming the environment so i was not aware of all those scenarios my whole intention was to create something unique and use something which is thrown away so that was the whole idea behind it that is beautiful in fact uh, i'm sure a lot of people will agree ki whether you are aware about it or not but what the thought behind it was anyway was noble matlab agar hum jo aap keh rahe the ki bachpan mein humko ye sikhaya jata tha basically that was called best out of waste ki jo cheeze feki jati hai jo cheeze discard ki jati hai usse kuch interesting banaye usse kuch beautiful banaye and uh, sand becoming a subject over here which is uh, you know so easily available and agar wo kahin gir bhi jaye kahin pe kuch you know spill ho jaye to it still goes back to nature it doesn't uh, harm the environment in any way so i want to come to this question to you ke uh, aap jo sand use karte hain apne uh, you know uh, shows mein ya yeah, when you're home also creating this beautiful videos uh, ye sand aap kitni bari use karte ho is it is there a particular time that you can use <laughs> just to get a quick on that Okay, so uh, first of all, that's a very interesting question and analysis. Because until now, I have done a lot of interviews, but no one has ever asked a question that you have done a lot of stand. One time, event happened, a performance happened, a shoot happened, then what kind of stand did you do? So I would like to uh, let our audience know uh, if they are hearing that uh, yeah. both stand art I actually collect after every event from the whole stand box. No matter how difficult it is or how tiring it is, the reason number one is I uh, love my uh, stand. It, it may sound stupid to a lot of people, but I love yeah. it because it's like the a artist को जैसे अपने colors से प्यार होता है किसी एक bike lover को अपनी bike से प्यार होता है तो वो वाला प्यार समझ सकते हैं किसी को अपनी गाड़ी से तो मेरे लिए मेरी car मेरी bike it's uh, the sand so yeah. I genuinely love it a lot I try to capture all the sand whichever is been thrown around uh, after hmm. the event hmm. and the shoots and sometimes what happens is ki wo 100% se uh, 70% ho jata hai kabhi kabhi 60% jata but i try to capture as much as it is possible and i right. try to utilize it again and again but sand ke sath do cheeze hoti hain that uh, sand captures moisture a lot from our hands to hum log jab right. draw wagera karte hain so it's a little bit technical but uh, usse kya hota hai uske flow aur fluidness khatam ho jati hai so right. jaise hi hamara wo sand use ho jata hai i try to collect everything and jab bhi main beach pe ya deserts mein ya kahin pe bhi jate hain hum log and we rinse the sand acche se sand sand ko saaf karke and we again pour it back to the same place uh, because that's a very uh, simple thing which we do but i never was asked this question that's why i never had to tell it so this is the first time i'm letting know ki wo hum log beach se ya desert se jo sand laate hain wapis wahi pe collect karke wahi pe wapas rakh dete hain in the purest form possible that is so wonderful i mean i'm glad that uh, this happened and i did not know personally i thought ke aap usko bar bar reuse kar sakte hain but like you mentioned ke wo moisture ke wajah se uski fluidity khatam ho jati hai thodi si and it's really uh, nice that you can uh, do this you know go back to the beaches and give it back to the nature and possibly take a little back as well so how many times do you have to do this uh, in you know if you have to say whether in a month or a year how many times this cycle happens for you Oh, oh, okay. So basically, in, in a month, we generally have a, a collection of approximately two to three times. And okay. what happens is, एक बार अगर हम लोग sand ले आते हैं, then it hmm. goes up for six to seven months or sometimes even a year. तो अगर हम लोग एक बार sand ले आए हैं, that can hmm. be utilized for a year. And then after a collection, we keep two separate pop portions. The one portion okay. is so. Uh, I don't know whether it might be interesting for our audience. You know, uh, so I have a collection of. sand from indonesia malaysia dubai uh, goa uh, mumbai and a lot of countries so i have this fascination and i was asked a lot of at, at, at a lot of airports because generally yeah. people carry souvenirs like eiffel tower yeah. and yeah. burj khalifa so i always carry a small portion of sand and they have stopped me i i, I can literally tell you at dubai airport and they have sometimes stopped me to check that why are you carrying a sand because it might look like narcotics and all other things but yeah. i clarified them that this is sand so i i keep a collection of all the different sand and wow. what i do is i try to uh, utilize that for a, as, as i told you ek bar agar hum le lete hain usko almost ek saal tak chalate hain uske baad jo hamare paas collection hota hai jo ki hota hai used wale ka usko hum log jaake throw karte hain to basically wo chal jata hai itna aur hamara aaram se 3 to 5 stores ek uh, portion sand mein aaram se ho jate hain that's wonderful or i mean it's a such a 
good idea you've got a piece of earth from every different country that you visit so i well, mean i never i never thought of it that way but yeah <laughs> yeah i mean who would have thought right like uh, um i'm sure it's it sounds bollywoody now when i say it but hum kehte hain ye mere desh ki mitti hai and that's what wow 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 national <laughs> So but, I mean, uh, it, but I genuinely, genuinely have a desire, which I don't think so. It's uh, ever, ever uh, maybe, maybe in the future going to be fulfilled. I, I have a small desire that I want a small, uh, portion of moon rock or moon sand or something. That wow. like a huge. I, I have this fascination. Why not? I mean, sky is the limit. Uh, someday, maybe that is also possible. Uh, before we move forward, Rahul, there are some uh, comments that have come in. Uh, some of them are just saying, uh, "You look cute." Awesome! Thank, Thank you, you Shikha. Shikha. Thank you so much. <laughs> Madhusmita is here. Um, Dhruvi Thank saying you, hello. Thank you, Madhusmita. Thank you, Dhruvi. Thank you so much. Hi. How are you doing? Amazing journey, sir. And, Thank you, Madhusmita. Uh, so kind of you. That's my uncle. He's saying this is something I like a lot. I'm so glad about that. Uh, Thank you, sir. <laughs> Dhruvi saying creative thinking inspires ideas, which is so true. So. that is where i want to come to rahul next uh, okay this is such a uh, creative process that you've gone through right aur uh, aapne kab socha ki ye art form ko aap uh, kuch acche causes ke liye use kar sakte hain because i'm sure all of them who follow you and i have seen uh, personally your journey through this where you've created a lot of uh, videos of sand art which are for causes and uh, how how is that happening and does that help you does that help uh, you know uh, that cause are you affiliated with some ngos or causes how is that yeah so i'll answer that into two points the first one is i have a collab had a collaboration with the adidas so adidas mm-hmm. uh, started a campaign which is called run for the oceans so run for the ocean is an international campaign adidas does that in uh, indonesia us uk europe all over the world and yeah. so i was i was proud associated with uh, adidas for collaborating this innovative project it yeah. was a project to save ocean life oceanic life so the initial mm-hmm. the intelligent idea they have the, they have come across with is let's do a sand art out of it and i uh, was on board hired to do the brand uh, branding of the whole campaign mm-hmm. and we actually used the actual beach sands So what happened is the whole. If you see the video "Run for the Ocean" for Adidas, we mm. use the actual beach sand. Generally, yeah. we try to clean it and clear it because beach sand. आपको मालूम है मुंबई गोवा इंडिया में बहुत गंदी हालत है. हम लोगों ने सबने बहुत खराब किया हुआ है. And yeah. I tried to you clean every time. So कई बार मेरे हाथ छिल जाते हैं just to clean up that sand क्योंकि हमें okay. हाथ से करना होता है. And mm. it it बहुत बहुत ही महीम होता है sand का particle. बट उस पर्टिकुलर पर्टिकुलर शूट के लिए आई एक्चुअली यूज हमारे यहाँ पे मड बीच से आई एक्चुअली यूज द एक्चुअल सैंड ऑफ मड बीच उसमें बहुत तरह तरह की गंदगी और चीजें निकली पार्टिकल्स निकले लाइक बॉटल कैप्स एंड ऑल दो थिंग्स विच आई हैव यूज इन द एक्चुअल एड कैंपेन सो दिस वॉज जस्ट टू शो की मैं एक बहुत खूबसूरत वीडियो बना सकता हूँ सब सुंदर दिखाने के लिए लेकिन इससे मतलब नहीं हो जाता है कि आवर एनवायरमेंट इज क्लीन एंड ऑल Right. Just because I have, because I have cleaned only just point zero 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 one percent of the actual sand and the beach area. That right. small portion. But right. I wanted to uh, project that idea that how difficult it is. And in that, we have shown in the campaign that in which way, in a bottle, in a bottle, in a tortoise, in a straw, and a lot of things happens to the uh, species of the oceanic life, which right. we generally don't feel too much connected to, because we don't see them generally. We feel less emotional to them, but Sea life is getting very much affected with all those things. Whenever I visit the beach, I, it breaks my heart. And there is everybody in the audience; they know that uh, how difficult and how uh, in bad condition the beaches of India are. Uh, the yeah. second point uh, about the campaign, which uh, we do, we do generally. So it, I am associated with the Sachi Saheli NGO. Uh, okay. It is a beautiful NGO, and they are doing a very generous kind work of educating uh, young girls about. Uh, Uh, periods and uh, menstrual cycles, and they are uh, providing them with necessary equipments and uh, necessary uh, pads and all the things which generally we don't uh, talk about. We yeah. hide away from talking about. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. So these are the uh, uh, so these are the elements we try to cover in couple of our 
sand campaigns in mm-hmm. uh, in collaboration with the delhi government i was associated for the sachi saheli which was uh, welcomed by the deputy chief minister and chief minister of delhi uh, mr yeah. anil kejriwal and manish sodia ji were present over there so we did mm-hmm. a, a contribution it was all for uh, free for all the audience and everything and for right. all the uh, especially for the girls from all the different girls schools of delhi to educate yeah. them and uh, to let people know that it is not wrong to talk about it Right. It is better if we know that, uh, and it is there's nothing to be fearful about it. Even after yeah. movies like Padman, a lot of uh, campaigns, people are still feeling very shy of talking about this thing because that's a natural process. Right. Because of this, a lot of girls are getting affected. You, me, and a lot of people on the we are a little on the upper middle class uh, zone, so we don't realize a lot of problems that are happening in the middle class and the low middle class segment. so we have to right. address that as well because now it comes to our responsibility to educate that i it, it might sound a little boring sometimes to no, talk no. about ngo and the social issues but i have I tried mean, to uh, narrate a whole book i have actually written for that as well um rahul will be right back with us <laughs> yeah. yeah so rahul like i was saying i mean uh, even if it sounds boring even if somebody thinks that you know my god why are they talking about these things it's fine i think it's high time ke hum is in cheezon ke bare mein baat kare uh, take responsibility and not just talk about it right so in whatever form like if you can with your art form uh, you know uh, create that stir create that conversation i think that's wonderful and we've seen that you've done it for many different causes many many different causes that you have done these videos for so let's quickly uh, uh go to our generational questions i know you are also short on time i'll just highlight this somebody said madhu said well thank said so thank you so much madhu smita thank you so much god bless you so i'll move to the generational questions now these are questions from different age groups of people right from a kid wanting to know something about sandra to somebody who is uh, you know in their late 60s you know there are different kind of questions that have come up to us so the first question is again something very basic what is sand art now this is a kid asking you a 7 year old who wants to know bachcho ke language mein simplest form mein unhe bata sake ki sand art hai kya okay so uh, so bachcho ke language sabse aasan bhasha mein ye hai uh, jab bacche uh, just i have a uh, i have a niece and i have, I have a small young very young nephew which is a 2 years old so uh, i've gifted him uh, crayons and also what he loves is he just goes to the wall sees the white wall and just draws anything over it right to be precise that sand art you just let everything inside you and put it on the wall and don't tell your mom that you have done that so that's <laughs> the simplest answer so and exactly Dr. that Dr. is i would have recommended this <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I used to do this. I I, I admit it. My mom used to be like running behind me. Yaha mat bano, ha mat bano. I used to like all over the place, floor, wall. Everything was all messy. It was dirty. But I kind of want to. I have so many things in my brain. I have so many ideas. So many images going around. And I'm sure every child is. And if you don't get to put it over anywhere else, it is always inside. And when you draw it as a child. and be it, it there's nothing about aesthetics or how beautiful the design is it's about putting it out when you start putting it out it tells a lot about you how you will become as a person you yeah. may perceive things differently when things you will feel be will be feeling sad or lonely in the current social uh, scenario when social media is so hyper that people are not communicating properly they don't know how yeah. to do face to face communication they don't know how to do eye to eye contacts now the yeah. generation is instagram and facebook uh, developed around so we need to put everything inside us out and let people know that this is us so yeah. that's that's the one thing i i think i should tell to the young kids over there absolutely and i have a nephew uh, who's 5 year old aur hamare ghar ki deeware bhi puri colorful hai because of the same thing <laughs> exactly hai na <laughs> in fact yeah. my my sister just came in and she's saying great going this is what is happening at her house <laughs> thank you i mean thank you so much so our next It's question the same, yeah. from, 13 year old rahul um which is a simple question again but uh, if you'd like to elaborate on that that uh, what are the colors of sand do you use like different colored sand uh, or you know can you just elaborate on right. that so uh, we we can use colored sand the video of uh, uh, 
the video I've been talking about was the Adidas sand art video that uh, was used with food colors. So what we do is uh, we take a color sand, we generally take a uh, normal sand, sorry, and we colorize it with food pigments and we let it dry for one day entirely, one night. And then the morning, it's like a smooth sand with all the grainy materials over it. So that's right. how we use to color the whole sand. Right. But is there a naturally colored sand also available or is it universally around the same color? Uh, you know, it, it's very fascinating the question you ask, but generally there is no color sand to be uh, exact. So what we do is we use the powder mixture of marbles. So marble powder is very small and very grainy, but it is very sharp. So it is not advisable to use for the children, but yeah. it can be colored very easily because it's pure white. The other right. thing is there are certain beaches. Uh, for example, I have a sand collection of uh, Thailand. There is a Rose Island in Thailand. Uh, so, uh, something like something similar name. I don't recollect. So uh, that beach has pure white, almost pure white sand. Hmm. So I, it has a beautiful texture. So you can get brown, white, dark black, br uh, dark brown. So all these kind of colors you can have easily explore around the world. Wow. Okay. So uh, here is the next question, which is by a uh, 20-year-old. Uh, it's he's asking that what is the age of learning sand art if people had to go and explore yeah there is no age limit i'll, I'll again tell you please 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 jab bhi aapka dil kare na yaar, kuch, just put it across put it out i i'll tell you a small uh, story so i had no idea i was doing engineering i had an ambition i am a, i'm from iit and i have all this uh goal set ki abhi mujhe, uh, 12th karna hai, then 10th karna hai, 12th karna hai. Then I have to do engineering, then I have to give this MBA exam, then that, then go with the job and all the things. Yeah. Everything was like planned according to like this. But I always used to like, as I, as, as I said in the childhood, I used to just scribble around. I used to put across my thoughts. So many right. copies are achieved. Like I, I've used uh, chalks and I have uh, carved it and makes small statue sculptures in chalk. Oh yeah, miniature, yeah. Miniature, and miniature. Uh, all those paintings. And mm -hmm. what I've done is, I've sent it all to Mumbai. Knowing nothing, a kid from Delhi just scribbling around and send it across to Mumbai. And there was no response. I was continuing doing my life. And then suddenly on, I still remember that it was approximately 26th of June. And I got a call from Wizcraft uh, from Mumbai. They called me like, uh, have, Rahul, have you drawn all of this? Who is this? And they're like, okay, we are from this, this studio. And we want you over there on this show. And I'm like, are you serious? Okay, okay are you serious? And they say, yes, <laughs> anyone to go. come to Mumbai. You have an amazing talent. Uh, we utilize it. And I was like, oh my God, is it really happening? So all I'm saying is just keep on exploring. And it's not only about sand art. You just keep on exploring. If you have any art form, please do that. I have I've seen sand artists at the age of 60 also. I have seen young sand artists at the age of 11 also. I always uh, love to see different art forms and uh, people's imagination uh, on a craft. I love to see that. Amazing. So like Rahul also mentioned there is no age uh, to start, uh, you know, your artist journey. So you can start anytime whenever, uh, you know, you get that interest or that inclination to explore any art form, go ahead and do it. Um, so here's another quick question. Um, okay, so uh, continuing on when to learn or what is the age to learn? Uh, the next question is uh, by a 25 year old. She's asking, are there any classes or tutorials to learn this art form, which is sand art in particular? Yeah, sure. So I used to take a couple of lecture, guest lectures in uh, IIT Bombay. So where okay. I was uh, talking and teaching about the uh, detailing of art form or any storytelling, because at the end of the day, any art form is a storytelling, be it a dancing, be it a very good painting or a sand art. So I yeah. used to take up a class over there. So uh, now you can go to uh, D Source. The website name is Design Source, actually, but okay. they call it D Source. It's an official website from IIT Bombay where my uh, whole lecture has been put across over there. So there you can go and uh, check it out and learn from yourself what all you can explore over there. So it, it has mm -hmm. everything mentioned in detail on Design Source. You can check it out with my name, Rahul Arya. Brilliant. So the website name is D Source. Uh, do Google it and check it out. But are there any, uh, you know, I haven't heard of or at least come across any. So you can just elaborate on that. But are there any private classes that you give or anybody else also gives on sand art in particular? 
where they can teach I, kids. I, I, used to take, I used to take a couple of uh, a few years back, but then I got really busy and all those things. But yeah. that's that's my uh, maybe maybe I should uh, put across more of learning videos for my you know, for future students because yeah, right now I don't think so. There are any good good classes to learn from, right? Because there is still uh, a lot of gap uh, in terms of considering art as a profession. Hmm. Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, and such examples like yourself uh, are the ones that people look up to get. Yes, artistry can also be a very uh, sustainable, uh, you know, career path as well. I mean, you've been doing this for many, many years now. Uh, so quickly, our next question is by a 35 year old who is asking, is it possible to make uh, make this art, which is sand art using wet sand? Do you use wet sand? Uh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Okay, great. All right. So just quickly moving uh, forward. This is a 40 year old parent who's asking is colored sand safe for children? Uh, actually, if you're using natural food pigments, it's totally safe because the food, food pigments we generally eat and the food you order from Swiggy is also has some food preservatives added into it. So it's yeah. completely safe. But knowing that that you have added food preservatives by yourself, then only. Yes, absolutely. And I think thoda sand chale bhi jaye, to itna farak nahi padega. I think no. <laughs> thoda sa, I think on beach khelte khelte bachcho ke mumbe oh, thoda. Oh, kuch... The current scenario, we need healthy lungs. Ah, yes, good, good call. <laughs> All right. So very quickly, I think uh, I'm going to ask you this one last question, uh, which is again a very uh, relevant question for this show particularly. Uh, how do you think sand art? promotes sustainability this is a 55 year old lady who wants to ask you this question that's a very uh, that's a very good question generally because uh, sustainability is uh, always have been a part of art form be it uh, mohanjodaro harappa culture it always have a interlink so the earliest earliest paintings or the art form which you going to see so how do you know about harappa culture it's through an art form. If you visit that uh, temple, then you see that statues of uh, different, right. different gods across the globe, the pyramids, or be it HF, or be it Europe, or any country. So it's always right. have been an art form. And where that art form has been drawn? On nature. It was always sculpted from rock, used the actual stones, the stones element. It was always yeah. been like this. The sculptures and all the things, which the material which was used, always natural. The initial colors and the handwritten textures of all the uh, biggest, uh, biggest Scriptures. ever uh, yeah. scriptures written, like uh, Bhagavad Gita or uh, Quran or Bible or any anything, it was handwritten, and they have used natural pigment, natural uh, flower colors. So nat nature and art form has always been together. Yeah, it, so true. The we have been advanced a lot. But the longest running art form has been natural art form, which is being last from last 2000 to 3000 years. And though there is no cloud device or no gigabits <laughs> can compare to that kind of a memory, which lasts that longer. Right. So that's right. the whole question. That's the, your answer. Beautifully answered, uh, Rahul. And uh, I would like to tell all of you that while his art form is uh, natural, it is still available digitally. So, you know, his videos are all over YouTube and Facebook. You can find his uh, wonderful work that you can follow around. And uh, I want to end this, uh, you know, really quickly because uh, I want to give all of you the good news also with Rahul's permission. <laughs> Maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, so the good news is uh, that Rahul is going to create an article's journey through sand art. <laughs> So you will see his art, uh, you know, uh, very, very soon in possibly a couple of days. We will put out the video where Rahul will beautifully uh, tell, uh, tell you all of you the story of article till now. So thank you so much, Rahul, for agreeing uh, to come on the show and being such a wonderful guest. Uh, Dhruvi here thank says you speak so a well. It's a good opportunity for me as well. Thank you so much for having me here. And thank you so much for all the people who have joined in and commented and uh, uh, please do uh, follow Kathy and she has been doing amazing work. I've, it's not, I'm not just saying it because I know her and I'm a good friend there, but generally she has been doing amazing work and she has been always about uh, talking about nature and something to provide back to the nature. So please, please, please uh, do support in her initiative. 
thank you so much everyone thank you so much rahul i'm going to end this by telling all of you to please if you don't follow uh, us yet go ahead and follow uh, rahul on instagram youtube and facebook you will see his uh, beautiful work out there if you haven't followed me yet i am chati kawa you can follow me on instagram and youtube you will see all the other episodes also there if you like this video then please do like share and subscribe to the channel thank you so much rahul once again for your time and thank you, so uh, much, thank you. see you later Thanks. bye okay.